Hello, everybody. I'm Henry Lee, BlueHairArts.com. This evening, I'm going to do a、uh, special sale for Yafa.、Uh, she's a lady.、Uh, the name is uh, from uh, Islamic language,、uh, Yafa, and、uh, we have translated into Chinese as Yafa, meaning elegant prosperity.、Uh, very good name. Um, but she wants to have uh, both uh, English spelling and uh, the uh, Chinese uh, side by side.、Um, that's、uh, not very traditional. But uh, uh, if it's a special request which I can meet、uh, under some certain conditions, I can accommodate that.、Uh, you can see because the English name is not too long, so four、uh, letters. If it's four letters, I can fit in this uh, space. Uh, bear in mind that the stone is only、um, three quarter inch, so we cannot really fit many letters in there. And、uh, ideally, the Chinese is written、uh, up down, so this is、uh, more traditional. And if you put underneath it, it would look.、Uh, um, Very Western, and、uh, you know we、uh, normally don't use this、uh, horizontal way. But she wants to use.、Uh, she wants me to try it, how it look like with、uh, her breast. Yeah.、Uh, anyway,、uh, this is another、uh, template you can consider. But I never、uh, carved that before.、Um, this one is more traditional. Uh, that's、uh, what I would normally suggest. And,、uh, the Chinese name、uh, would look like、uh, if you are semi or Chinese brush painting artist. This is most suitable. But、uh, this is okay. I try to match the style of the English writing with、uh, the Chinese.、Um, try to make it uh, uh, more of a hand writing、uh, signature style. So、uh, that's the design. And、uh, this is what、uh, she picked.、Um, so we have、uh, made a, a transfer、uh, with a, a special liquid called acetone to,、uh, to uh, just pour some liquid on the, on the paper and then press it. So this、uh, print is now on the stone with a mirror image. Let me fix the seal because the seal has a carving on the end. I want to protect that. Also stabilize this the stone. So this transfer is、uh, used. Another note、um, you might notice the layout is half and half.、Uh, this is very classical. The yin yang、uh, in the, on the same stone. The positive and next the negative. On the same stone,、uh, you can put your、um, family name in the Yan style or any character in the Yan style. In the other three,、uh, in the、uh, Yin style or, or the、uh, other way. So、uh, you can also put hand half and half like this.、Uh, it's it's possible. So we we do this English. Part first, and normally start from the origin. Okay, this is a Qingtian stone, soapstone. Soapstone is the English name for it.、Uh, we named after the、uh, place where this、uh, stone is uh, uh, is produced.、Uh, usually, a village name. In Zhejiang Province, China. So this is the Qingtian stone, meaning green field. Qingtian.
when I uh, hold the knife at an angle like this, so the um, the, the small, the, the outside uh, is smooth. Small angle side is smooth. So I have to turn the stone to match the smooth side with the outline, the contour of the letters. First, then I will just cut off the background. Okay, I'll work on the on the uh, scooping letter. Let me finish this side now. The first character is uh, uh, Chinese Ya, elegant. Try to do it elegantly with uh, nice, subtle, curved corners. It's not good. The graphy is a uh, subtle movement of uh, the, br the brush, as we call it uh, the iron brush the knife. So you kind of ride it when you stroke and when you know, cut. Not uh, repeat too much, but continue to keep the community of the, the qi, the energy. Very important not over cutting the corners, not cut through the corners or slip uh, from the track. So I use my fingers to hold the stone when I push the knife. So I cannot do this and hold the hand in the air as so I you know, use the brush. So. Um, all the fingers are used. I use my arm actually more when I cut long strokes <coughs> or wrist. And my whole body can move like that. See my arm moves.
all have curves here. I'll do the corners here. Let's do all the dashes first. Oh, okay, they're not the uh, same actually, so I need to make sure the strokes are correct, otherwise, you cannot read it. I'll do some uh, uh, adjustment and fine tuning and scooping now to uh, finish the rest. Okay, now let's take a look at the uh, polished seal. I have scoop, uh, scooped the the bottom of the uh, young side, the floor, and uh, I made uh, some uh, fine tuning with the uh, negative strokes, the white characters on the other side. Now I'm going to make an imprint, a red stand to see how it looked like. The black and white is the uh, design I made for a preview, and here's the real seal. Okay, that pretty much uh, uh, what I want. And uh, as you can see, I want, uh, I will uh, make the margin a little bit chipping and uh, make this square a little bit. Uh, straighten or somehow uh, match the okay. it's a little bit too straighten and I'll knock out some of the margin. On this side, on top, we we'll just reduce a little bit mm -hmm. to match. Take out the corner. Okay, this is more um, even and uh, balanced to me. The inside box need a little bit shipping here to match the outside.
one more time. You can see this process could last uh, much longer than the initial cutting, so the refinement part could take hours. It's very enjoyable. The, you know, every step you can make a stand to see how it looks like. Now you can see the square uh, is much better. And uh, that's, that's the final uh, version. I will make an official stamp uh, in my collection album. Put a rubber mat underneath it. You can put a magazine or something, but not too uh, thin or too heavy. Um, you can get this uh, special rubber mat at uh, bluehammerarts.com. Very handy. Okay, and I'll make another imprint for Yafa. On this special rice paper. Okay, that's a very clean copy. Okay, um, I'd like to thank everybody, thank everybody on YouTube for watching, and thank Yafa, thank Yafa for commissioning me of uh, this uh, special name seal. I had a very good time uh, with you from beginning to the end, and I hope you enjoy watching this video. Thank you. Goodbye.